So here I am in Spain. Um, it's the end of February, start of March, and flying back to UK tonight. I'm not too keen on doing it. Um, I'm sitting here looking at the sea. Got the, the sun. Got my son. <laughs> the sun and my son. My son's busy playing on the floor here with his tab. Um, and this is what life is about. Um, I think in the UK, people, a lot of people just don't get it. There's a sense of community here, which I haven't seen for a long time anywhere in the UK. Um, I mean, the, the funny thing is, I've got like a school year reunion thing coming up, and you find people connect on that more um, than they probably would with neighbours. And I, that, that's, that's the UK. Everything, the life is online, it's not the real life anymore. But the Spain still has it. I mean, a lot of the stuff here is still not developed. The internet is not as developed as most other places because they don't need it. Um, and I like that. I really do like that. But I'm sitting here. I'm thinking I've got to fly out later on tonight. And this is where my life needs to be. It doesn't need to be in the UK anymore. My wages got messed up as well, so I'm now paying some extra costs in bringing the money to Spain, which wasn't nice because it should have been in my pocket instead of going through various um, transactions. Um, but that sums up the company I do a lot of work for. They mess up the wages for people on a regular basis. Um, can't really talk about that too much, but I'll just leave it at that. But it's one of the biggest problems I've seen on some of the contracts. Um, but anyway, I can't see my career going in the right direction at the moment. Uh, I'm in demand. I've, I've had job offers. I've had some pretty heavy-duty job offers um, on a national level. But... They're, the stumbling block is I do not want to work full time anymore. Um, not because I don't want to be there f for 40 hours a week. It's more a case of, well, I don't want to be in the UK all week. And for most roles, you don't need to be at that level because you're managing so many sites. You find that you're in an office somewhere. So if you're in an office somewhere, you can be in an office anywhere. And there was a recent discussion with somebody else about this because there's another project we're doing at the moment where somebody was there. Yeah, but we need somebody to be there on a Friday to face of the company. And I said, well, do we? So well, what do you mean? I says, well, we're carrying out this survey. All they need to know is that we're working 10-hour um, days or 12-hour days. There isn't anybody needing to be there on a Friday because we everyone in, on the site works eight, um, even though it's a twenty-four hour site. And that's the sort of thing you have to deal with, where people just can't see that not everybody works nine till five. <laughs> I mean, the joke being, some of the the most productive time I have can be at two o'clock in the morning. When it's all quiet, there's nothing going on, there's no disruptions, there's no emails coming in, there's nobody calling you. Because you can just focus on what you're doing on that one task and get it done in a, in a way that is the way it should be done. Um, and I, I just find some of the corporate mentality difficult to deal with. Um, because I'm not... Um, in a single channel, I, I'm open to suggestions, I'm open for development, I'm open for progression, but some of this stuff just seems to be stuck in the 1950s, you know, it's like, well, this is how we run it always, so that works, and the world was flat, um, if nobody challenges anything, well, how, how do we progress? still be living in caves. Um, 
So yeah, work's works a difficult one at the moment because I want to be out here and as we go into holiday season I'm going to be looking at opening up a business here. Um, looking at call center at the moment, I just need to focus on who I can work with um, because if I can get that going then that, that's the money taking over. Because one of the things I can do is piggyback I can use the Philippines call center to get the Spain call center going. Um, so that's, that's something we could do and something I'm thinking about heavily at the moment. Um, because I know how much money they, the call centers can make and I know it's like no headaches because it's something I understand. The only problem is um, just getting it going, meeting some clients, getting it stimulated and getting off the ground, which is an initial investment. But like I said, we've got the Philippines one to kickstart things. Um, the Philippine one start ticking over, generating cash. We then use the profit from that to stimulate and get the Spanish one going. Because I know so many clients that want native uh, English speakers. And I'm not being funny, Spain is full of old people lots of retired old British people and some of them actually want to work you know I'm not being funny I couldn't sit here and do nothing every day um, and even in my downtime I don't have what I call rest time because I'm always busy doing something there's a difference though between doing something you have to do and doing something you want to do um, for example I'm designing an app at the moment for surveying that is a struggle with so much stuff going on because I physically do not have the time to learn to program um, the JavaScript that I need to be using. It's frustrating, but at the same time, it's nice to have money in the bank, so it's ticking over. So this update may seem a bit negative at the moment, but it's not. It's setting down the foundations. I want to be here full time. Getting here full time is not going to be so straightforward. Um, but there's always other things I can be doing. I could do what I did before, which is three months blocks, um, where basically I take a contract on, work for three months, crash with my parents, live in hotels, and then come back here. And then enough money, I make enough money in three months to last six to nine months here. Um, the other way of doing it is doing what we're doing now. We're flying in and out and I'll be honest with you, I don't like doing it. I'm getting tired. Um, I'm either driving around the UK. Um, if you imagine to tonight, I'll be flying in the UK about 9pm. By the time I get there, back to Worcester, probably about 10, 11 o'clock. Sort my luggage out in Worcester. Um, leave the house about 5 to 6 a.m., drive to Portsmouth, in Portsmouth for a week, stopping in hotels with an intensive survey, drive back to Worcester, maybe fly back to Spain next weekend. It's a lot of travel and a lot of hours. Um, and long term, it just doesn't work. Short term, yeah. Um, I could do this for six months. That's, that's the thing. Short term to me is not weeks, it's months. Um, I could do this for six months, which is why I need to focus on how we're going to get ahead long term. Um, and that's why when I talk about call centers and stuff, it's not stuff I'm going to do tomorrow, but it is stuff that I'm already thinking about and trying to find out how to do it, sourcing an office, working out what clients are available, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. There's stuff going on all the time. But I just thought some of you might be interested in an update on where we are. Um, April's loving Spain. The kids are loving Spain. Um, and why wouldn't you? Look at the weather. It's fantastic. <laughs> you know, I go to the UK, there's ice. You know, I get black ice warnings on the car every day. I go to work, it's dark. I go home, it's dark. <laughs> this is life. And, okay, I think some people are envying me in the UK, 
which is probably why they're a bit more bloody awkward than they need to be. Um, but I'm more, if somebody else was doing this, the same reason I do these videos is like, good luck to you. You know, the fact is you're doing something with your life. Um, you enjoy it, you're finding things to stimulate it, make it interesting. You're not running everything down. Um, I mean, I know I knock the UK a lot, but the fact is, I think the UK has lost its direction. It's become like one huge clock-in, clock-off factory. Um, and it's taken the fun out of it for a lot of people. People are more concerned about paying the mortgage and what their next electric and gas bill is going to be than going out at the weekend. They're more concerned about immigration when the immigration is not really the issue. Um, the immigration is nothing. Because politicians don't mention why immigration was, uh, the open border policy happened. It was actually reduced the cost of labour. Um, that's why people are griping about the minimum wage when you, these Eastern Europeans come and steal our jobs. It's like, firstly, all these people say they steal our jobs wouldn't work anyway. But secondly, that's why they were brought in, is to drive down the cost of labour in the UK. Um, if you're looking at something like bricklayers, um, I remember bricklayers were being about 60, 60 to 80 pounds. And then I remember the next time I spoke to somebody about it, 160 um, to a couple of hundred for a day's labour. And that's why they were brought in. Um, doesn't really affect me because I'm in a very niche market. Um, I've got 22 and a half years experience in what I do um, and you, you don't find many people coming into what we do uh, simply because they don't have the, the knowledge, experience and legal knowledge associated with compliance and everything else for um, the legal stuff. So I'm okay, you know, as I say, I'm alright Jack, but the problem is I'm trying to escape it now, I want to be out in Spain. So if anybody actually does have a full-time job in Spain, uh, give us a shout, or if you've got Spanish contracts, let me know. Um, if you want a call center to work with, or even take a partnership on it, uh, give me a shout. Uh, thanks for watching.